For many, the iPad Pro is there to help them grow their creativity. Now that being said, it's used for photo editing, video editing, and even browsing the web to find the next big idea. But for many of us out there, the iPad Pro is used for productivity. And I myself, the reason that I got iPad Pro was for me to be able to do my homeworks, take it to school, and when I work, do my work in my iPad. So when it comes to creativity, iPad has a soft spot for all of us out there regardless what your creativity is. But don't forget that for those of us who are out there and need the iPad Pro to do more than creativity and be something more simpler than just productivity, it's a great device and can handle a lot of things. Now, when it comes to productivity, one of the most important things that we use is not an app, it's actually a software made by Microsoft, believe it or not, and that's Office 365. And that app is the master of it all. You could create words, document, Excel sheets, PowerPoint, collaborate, check your email, and do so much more using just Microsoft 360. And believe it or not, it's in standard all across the world, and everybody uses it. I'm sure there are a lot of apps on the App Store that you can find that can replace your Microsoft Word, but nothing does what Microsoft is good and known for. For that purpose, in this video, I'm going to focus on showing you guys what Microsoft Office has to offer when it comes to your iPad Pro. And believe it or not, this is a game changer. When looking at Microsoft Office, of course, we have all the great apps that comes with it. And believe it or not, the apps are sufficient enough. For example, when it comes to Microsoft Office, you could create Word document without any problem. And you have access to most of your features that you have access on the actual software itself when you're using Mac or when you're using your PC. And except a couple of difference such as the draw option that is more usable on your tablet using the Apple Pencil. When it comes to PowerPoint, it's the same thing. We have all of these options, Excel, everything is the same, OneNote is the same, but using Office on, as a software gives you a much more better experience versus using it on the mobile device. So when you log in, you get the good morning sign with all your app presented to you. The mail app is just fantastic. It does everything. You could reply to emails, you could do signatures, you could easily make everything feel like you're using the Microsoft software on a PC or Mac. And believe it or not, the online version of Microsoft Outlook works better than the software that you can install on your Mac OS. This thing feels just like using an actual PC. Now I know I'm an iOS fan, but Microsoft Office on a PC is a complete different experience. When it comes to file sharing, Microsoft offers you OneNote. Right there, you have access to all of your notes and all of your documents that you could easily import and export to your favorite app of liking or just back up your picture for when you need it. When it comes to Microsoft Word, creating a new Word document is as simple as pressing one button. And right there and then, you'll be greeted with an office that looks just like your desktop version. And if you want to really take your office to the next level, I highly recommend installing Grammarly. Grammarly is an app that lets you correct your grammar. It's something beyond what Microsoft Word does, and it takes it to a complete new level. And it makes editing and writing a joy, and takes away all the guesswork out of it. Now I'm sure all of us are great at writing, but some of us like me, trouble and have a little problem when it comes to proper grammar, like where to put commas or exclamation point, all of that. Grammarly will help you. And if you misspell something, it will fix it for you much better than the Microsoft Office grammar check. When it comes to Excel, the Excel online 
actually does an outstanding job at creating files, creating equation and make things really easy. And especially if you have the Apple Pencil or if you have the Magic Trackpad, you're all set. If you don't even have the Magic Trackpad, don't worry. As long as you have a mouse that is works with a Bluetooth, you could just connect it over and use it without any problem. This takes all the guesswork out of it and it just looks really clean and it looks very simple, makes editing such a breeze. And you have access to all your insert, such as pivot table, table itself, columns, lines, pie bar, charts, and everything. And when it comes to formula, you have everything. Data, review, view, and help. When it comes to PowerPoint, editing your PowerPoint on the actual web version rather than the one that you use on the iPad as a app, this thing is much more powerful and you can actually do animation without worrying about is it gonna handle or is the apps gonna crash. Because the app itself for PowerPoint sometimes crashes on the iOS version when you add crazy amount of animation to it or when you have a couple of layers. With the app by itself, I don't recommend using PowerPoint. But if you have the web version, you are good to go. You have all your transition, animation, slideshow, and reviews, and you're gonna be good to go. Now, when it comes to OneNote, I'm a great fan of OneNote, and I love the things that you can do with OneNote, especially when it comes to working with your classmate or working with your partners to create something special. OneNote is right there for you. Now, the app version of OneNote does an outstanding job, and I'm not gonna bash it because I have been using the app version for such a long time and I love it. But still you have some limitation that when you use the web version, you won't encounter those limitation. As far as SharePoint, I don't really use it. Microsoft Team, I don't really use it, but I know people who have used those two apps with Microsoft Office and the web version does an outstanding job. This is just a way to let you guys know that Microsoft does an outstanding job, not on the app version, but on the web version of it. Now I know the Apple iPad is mostly used with people who are doing graphic design or some editing photos or drawing, but don't forget this is a powerful device that can be used for your productivity app. Now, if you want greater in-depth review of these apps, let me know in the comment section below and I will go over it for you guys. As of right now, don't think twice when it comes to your iPad Pro because this thing can handle a lot of things. And when you're working on the cloud, on the web, everything is saved, everything is backed up, and there is no problem of crashing. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and overview of Microsoft Office on your iOS tablet. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll check you guys on the next one.